while a Memphis college student injured in a drive-by shooting has found help right here in Atlanta. Now, someone shot Julia Davis in the face in December of 2014, but she's pushed on with her life, determined not to allow what happened to hold her back. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin joins us now with more on her story. And Sine and Tom, this is really a story of resilience because Julia Davis refuses to let what happened to her three and a half years ago define her. But she needed some help with the facial scars that were left behind from that shooting, and she found it nearly 400 miles from home right here in Atlanta. How is school going? It's going good. I mean, all A's and B's. All right. The story of how 21 year old Julia Davis found herself here in Atlanta plastic surgeon Dr. Wright Jones's office begins three years ago in Memphis on Christmas Eve. Julia, then an 18 year old outgoing high school senior, was riding in a car with a friend. I was on my way to get something to eat. That's when, out of the blue, someone in the car in front of them started shooting. I just remember a bullet coming through the window. The bullet went in her arm, and when she slumped over, it went through her chin and tore all of this down. Rushed to a local trauma center in critical condition, shot in the arm and the chin. Julia would need eight hours of surgery just to save her. That was my prayer the whole time, was let me see my baby alive. But the bullet had done its damage. I already was in my mind thinking I got to get my baby put back together the way she was. So that was our, my main focus out of all of this was Julia has to be put back the way she was. Regina Davis and her husband knew that reconstructive surgery could cost at least $15,000 money they don't have. You know, the only thing I could tell her was we just gonna have to step out on faith because I knew we couldn't afford it. Then last spring, Julia read about a nonprofit called A Surgeon's Touch. I was like, this is my chance. Dr. Jones and a group of plastic surgeons around the country are offering non-emergency reconstructive surgery to children and young adults whose families couldn't otherwise afford it. So Julia was the first to apply. I just thought that we should help her. When I found out what had happened to her, I, I thought to myself, all that she endured, um, despite that, she's still strong, she's still beautiful. In the OR, Dr. Jones removed the deep scar tissue, pulling Julia's smile to one side, and then used skin grafts and flaps to reconstruct her chin. Still got some healing to do, but it looks way better than what it is. All Dr. Jones asked of Julia was to find a way to pay it forward. So she volunteered feeding the homeless back home in Memphis as her way to give back. Because there's no better feeling for me or any other person than helping someone else. Once you felt that and feel the power of improving a life, it's, it's an enjoyment and a pleasure that nothing can substitute for. And Julia had her surgery in June, and Dr. Wright is trying to get the word out now that Surgeon's Touch is offering this help. There are certain requirements kids need to meet, but its applicants have to be between the ages of 7 and 21, and they need non-emergent reconstructive surgery. The program is based on financial need, and if you're interested, you can go to fox5atlanta.com and look for this story, and we'll have an email address there where you can send an application for the program. Tom and Sine. That is a wonderful program, and I love the component also of paying it forward. Yeah, yeah. because then you get to feel what it's like to give back to. So, uh, yeah, everybody's involved. Those kind of cases are the most rewarding for Absolutely, surgeons yeah. like that. Yeah. Thanks, Beth. Thanks.